What's up, guys? Isaac here, just chilling out in this fucking cold day in Australia. And I want to talk about um, your energy levels and your goals for a minute. Now, I feel like too many of us, we try to do too many things at once. We try to become, you know, perhaps a good public speaker, a good rugby player, a master, grandmaster in chess, a good Call of Duty player, just a whole bunch of things at once. Now, the problem with this is, what you have to realize is, 24 hours in a day, it's not really that long, if you stop and think about it. What's 24 hours? Maybe you spend 8 hours sleeping, 20 minutes showering, maybe an hour commuting to work, maybe 8 hours working. It's a lot of time spent doing random mundane things. So when you have free time to work on your goals, how can you afford to be doing three or four different things at once? Remember, I'm assuming you want to get good at what you're trying to do. I'm assuming you want to become a master at what you're trying to do. I'm assuming you want to become a great public speaker, an excellent entrepreneur, or a fucking formidable rugby player. I'm going to talk about jack of all trades here, because what good is that? If you look at it in that light, you realize that you don't have that much time. And you also realize that time moves fast. Think about all the goals you had five years ago that you thought you'd achieved by now. How many of those have you actually achieved? And how quickly has that time gone by? That should just be a little bit of a wake-up call. So if you really want to do the things that you want to do, focus on one thing at a time, guys. Focus on one thing at a time. I'm not saying to restrict yourself to one thing. I'm just saying to focus on one thing. And once you accomplish that thing, you can move on to the next thing. You can move on to bigger and better things. And over time, you have a bunch of things that you have accomplished, as opposed to that person who tried doing too many things at once. I tried becoming a Formula One race car driver. I tried becoming a fucking hacker and all this stuff and didn't achieve any of that. So that's the first part of the things I want to talk about here. The second part is just because it's possible doesn't mean that you can do it. Now, let me give you an example. In my engineering degree, right? Uh, you have certain people that are maybe perhaps not mechanically minded that don't understand mathematics very well or physics and chemistry and all that jazz. Now these people, you often see that after they sit in the exam and they fail the exam, they'll rationalize to themselves. They'll say, you know what? If I spend eight hours studying, if I go back and look over my old lecture notes and revise calculus, if I wake up at 6 a.m. and do this and do that, I'll be able to pass. I'll be able to get a distinction. I'll be able to do really well. Now, in theory, this is true. Perhaps if they do spend that time studying, they will get a good mark. But what they fail to understand is, are they actually going to fucking do it? Are you actually going to fucking get up at 6 a.m. and do it? Are you actually going to spend that time and do it? Because it's, it's great to talk about it, but are you actually going to do it? This is a world that's built off results. It's not about your intent. It's about what you actually create. Are you actually going to get up and do that work? And I feel that a lot of people, their downfall is they don't have self-awareness. They don't have the critical self-awareness skills that are needed to be successful in life. You need to be able to see yourself objectively without any biases. See your flaws, see your virtues, your your downfalls, all that stuff, and act accordingly. Perhaps you really do enjoy engineering. Perhaps you do want to be an engineer, but your brain isn't built that way. Or perhaps you do want to be an artist, but your art sucks. So you need to have the courage to accept these facts and build a game plan and act accordingly to these facts. So that's a very, that's a very, very critical skill to have. Because too many people don't have it. Too many people are living in this fantasy world. It's a wishy-washy world where they believe that everybody's going to become an entrepreneur. Everybody who puts their heart into it will become a good rugby player or whatever. Just, just pay attention to the guys of the Olympics. The Olympics just passed recently. Did you watch Usain Bolt? Did you watch him leave everybody behind? 
No one gives a fuck that those other guys have been training hard or that they've been training harder than him or anything like that. It doesn't matter. It's always about results. So if you want to produce results, you need self-awareness. Don't just set your goals based off what you think you can do. Set your goals based off what you will do. And don't try and manage too many things at once because we only have a set amount of time. And time moves by fucking fast, man. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Every like is helping. The channel is growing, guys. And um, more content to come. Anyway, peace. Do it! Just do it!